Welcome to the Luxury Mental and Family South Asia Institute at Harvard University. We are the hub for intellectual activity, research, teaching, seminars, events connected to South Asia, all the countries, uh, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and a range of other countries in the region, uh, all the way from Afghanistan to Burma. So the Mithil Institute here at Harvard University serves as a hub that connects our faculty, students, as well as regional scholars. And the idea is to bring them together and support their work, uh, both financially as well as providing administrative support in terms of making the connections for them uh, through our offices in Cambridge as well as in India, in Delhi. I think a fascinating thing about South Asia is that it is a laboratory where many issues are uh, visible in extreme forms. And urbanization is one example. And the second project that I'm really interested in and I'm working on now is to construct a format to create a, a urban atlas for India. There are about uh, 400 small towns in India which already house about 100,000 people. These will become a million each and 400 million Indians will live in places that we are not paying any attention to. Pakistan's problems are incredibly complex and they have gotten more complex over the decades. What Pakistan needs is very credible knowledge and research generated about it and the Harvard South Asia Institute having in a way this credible Harvard hat to bring to the region can get researchers from the region to work with you know its professors and develop knowledge that will benefit not just the country but the broader region. Till then this, nobody was breeding this not only in India but anywhere in the world. And whether it's business or in, in the non-profit world we need to have this resource this ability to turn to something that we believe is the number one resource in terms of knowledge, research, and solutions for South Asia. When I first came here, we realized that in order to do this project, we actually need a database of baseline data to compare before and after. I've been collecting this data. I've just been interviewing them, getting their whole background story from the first diagnosis to, to how, where they are right now. We took postdoctoral fellows, so young scientists from Harvard and MIT, to go and teach very smart undergraduate students in India, about 25 of them, about neuroscience. And this was one of the most fulfilling things which was made possible by South Asia Institute. Lakshmi Mittal and Family South Asia Institute has been working together with the CSMBS in Mumbai to identify and address the sort of areas for improvement in the field of conservation in South Asia. What uh, Harvard, with the commitment from the Luxury Middle uh, Arts Program actually can achieve is to make certain interventions at the level of training because we're an educational institution. We've learned that there's power in numbers. That from a situation where there was virtually no organized cross-university activity in South Asia to a situation now where we have at least five if not ten extremely large cross-cutting projects that span the pure sciences, the social sciences and the humanities is a testament to what we can achieve.